जी अस्सलाम वालेकुम ये स्टूडेंट अच्छा प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस सम लीन एंड नॉन लीनियर बूलियन फंक्शंस टुडे इन दिस क्लास वी विल एलोगेट विद द हेल्प ऑफ वन एग्जांपल दैट हाउ टू अंडरस्टैंड वेदर सम फंक्शंस इज लीनियर और नॉट लीनियर like a frequency 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 this is our input and the uh, two variable input two variables input and can see our corresponding um, boolean function which is um, we call it 0 0 then 1 in 1 this is the what you call the output boolean function ये फंक्शन हमने लास्ट क्लास में लास्ट जो टॉपिक था हमारा टोटल दो इनपुट वाले क्योंकि दो इनपुट है तो टोटल बोलियन फंक्शन भी टू इनपुट के लिए अगर मैं कहूँ एन इनपुट के लिए टू पावर टू पावर एन थे तो अगर जब एन टू इनपुट हो जाएगी तो बी टू विच इज टू पावर टू पावर टू फंक्शन ये हम कर सकते चुके थे और लीनियर कितने होते हैं एन इनपुट पर टू पावर एन इनपुट तो ये वन एन एस टू तो लीनियर बोलियन फंक्शन हमारे पास टू पावर टू एन फोर होंगे और नॉन लीनियर एन इनपुट पर होते हैं टू पावर टू पावर टू एन सॉरी टू पावर एन and when n is two input so there will be and then two is um, 16 minus 4 which is 12 so out of uh, 16 total boolean function four are linear and four are non linear so these are some you can say classification and then uh, Uh, let us uh, check uh, whether the some function satisfy the criteria of uh, what you call it uh, uh, linear functions or uh, non-linear functions. So as I told you, the any uh, any Boolean function if uh, say in from previous uh, in, in like uh, we are not continuing the previous example as f was. Zero, zero, then one, one. So I need to say x, y, zero, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, one. So if I need, if it is f, so if I can say this is f one. So uh, when is input is zero, zero, the output is this one. So this one zero. Zero one one. So I can write it as a column that zero would be. So yeah, if I can take any two input from uh, this is uh, my whole set, I call it as a S input set. Zero 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 one one zero one one. So my function f one is from Z two 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 Z two. In Z two two, we have four elements. So I take uh, like S and Y from Z two two or S. I call it S. So I take any element from Z two two. Z two two is two cross two. That is zero uh, one cross four. 
zero one. So in that case, if you can take a zero zero class product, then you will get zero 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 one one zero and then one one. So uh, if I take any element from this, I say I take zero and y as zero one. So uh, if I apply f one on x, I need to say f one one zero zero. So uh, corresponding to zero zero input output is zero. So uh, corresponding to uh, zero one output means if I take this uh, So, if you go zero one, we could apply to the zero one zero one. If you find me the first time from zero one to like input zero one to output again zero. So, let us go this good day clay. तो हमारे पास एक चीज काफी क्लियर हो जाएगी कि और अगर हम x plus y को ऐड करें करें यानी zero zero plus zero one तो corresponding x component को x में y को y में तो you will get zero one again and if you can apply f one on x is output what you will get f one zero Ultimately, we will get zero again. So, if you can see this, we can see F1, X, Y the same as F1, X plus F1, Y. So, in that way, F1 is the near um, Boolean function so uh, if you can see this one like another uh, thing uh, a fine uh, if you can see a fine functions so a fine function is the combination of the linear function plus constant so if you can add constant in a linear function so you will get a fine function as i told you in my previous lecture if you can see a x plus b so from uh, uh, the linear function is uh, a into x only a into x if you can see this one and they take only this one, so you, this would be linear. But if you can take this as a whole, so this will be non linear, and we call it as a fine. So, in, uh, in uh, uh, two point, total uh, or n, uh, when n is two, so the total Boolean function uh, uh, you can consider the last 16. So out of 16, the last uh, uh, example where I uh, define f1 is linear, and I'm aware uh, f2, which is I call it uh, 0, 0, and then 1, 1, I take it as transform, this is also linear, and f3, uh, I can say another 0, 1, 0, 1, this is another, and then f4. So which is 0, 1, 1, and 0. This is, these are again uh, uh, another three uh, linear Boolean functions and a previous one which is f1. 
light uh, and zero, 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 zero. This is, uh, uh, I take it as a phone. This, these are, uh, what you call it as a linear. These four, four functions are linear. So in that way, I can define these. So these are, We can define it as uh, like these uh, four functions. Total functions. So if you can define it constant like uh, in all these uh, uh, functions which are linear, if you can define constant like uh, 1, 1, 1, and 1 in all these linear functions, so you will get a fine function. If I can add 1, a1, f1 plus 1, 1, 1, and 1, and that by uh, f1, uh, add them, you will get. One 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 and one. So this is f one. Uh, first I find function boolean functions, which is nonlinear. And a two. I need to say f two plus one 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 one. So if we can define this, which will be one one zero zero. This is a two and a three will be you can see uh, one zero one and zero and a four will be like one zero zero and one so in that way uh, i just add constant uh, in linear uh, functions uh, in the same way as this a x plus b so I get uh, four of fine uh, Boolean functions, which are again uh, uh, non-linear Boolean functions. So uh, I can say with the, that that if I define uh, uh, first and uh, uh, that is f five, I take it as a f five or a one which are uh, what you call it as a, a one, 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 and one. And, and F uh, six as a two, which is one, one, zero, zero, top four. F seven, a, 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 sorry, three, which are one zero one then zero transpose f eight which is a four which is again one zero zero n one so I take it as a transpose so if you can see uh, what does this means this means f five is a function from z two to two to z two and again, f6 is function from z2 to 2, to z2. And f7 is function from z2 to 2, to z2. And f8 is function from z2 to 2, to z2. So these are all uh, what you call it as a single value Boolean. Functions. So here you can see that these are all nonlinear Boolean functions. So how one can say these are nonlinear Boolean functions? And in, in the case of F5, let's say if I can say 
and y these are 0 0 1 here 0 1 0 1 so i take a file which is 1 1 1 1 so corresponding to every input it gives you the output 1 1 1 1 this 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 is this this is the meaning of f file so i take x and y from input vector which is this input set which is b22 so element of b22 are these input so i take first input as a zero zero and setting out input as a zero one if i apply f51 x that is f51 zero zero one input is zero zero output is one f5 y when and uh, input is 0 1 the output is again 1 so if you can add this uh, x plus 5 so what you will get 0 1 uh, so you can see this like so you can apply f 5 and x plus y that means it's a five one zero one you will get one so uh, if you can see f five x plus y is f of x plus f of y so these are not equal suppose this is one uh, sorry can see and uh, this is equal to one and this is equal to one plus one this is not equal because one is equal to two and under mod two two is zero so it cannot be seen so in that way uh, uh, this in that this implies f5 is non linear linear function uh, if i can uh, define it uh, uh, this uh, like if i can say uh, i have another function like uh, f which is from b2 to 2 to b2 that take in two input and uh, map of two output. That is input which is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. This is map on 1, 1, output. This is uh, 0, 0, this is uh, 0, 1, and this is 1, 0. I use to say. This function from 0, 0 is from map on 1. So if I can say 0, 1, then 0, and 1. If I can write it down in terms of uh, table. So what does when uh, input 0, 0, input is 0, 0. 0, 0, the output is 1. So you have to write the output inside. When input is 0, 1, the output is 0, 0. Then when input is 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, output is 0, 1. So 0, 1. So when input is 1, 1, 1, 1, the output is 1, 0. So if you can see, there is no repetition. So uh, if I can integrate this with the help of more generic example, another one, like uh, uh, if I can say um, so the function uh, uh, 
to input is mapping to output so this can be written as this is what you call column and this is and row index and this is column index so if i can define another one function g from c2 3 to c2 3 so in that way uh, it takes three input and maven three of like uh, how i can define from B2, 3 to C2, 3. So it is zero, 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 then zero, then one. This will be one, then one, then one, then zero, zero, one, one, then zero, zero, one, one, then zero, one, zero, one, then zero, one, zero, and one. So this is my input, and this is my corresponding output. So I can say on uh, this zero. 3 times 0 is map on 3 times 1, then this is map on 1, 0, 0, this is map on uh, 0, 0, 0, this is map on 1, 1, 0, this is map on 0, 1, 1, this is map on 1, 0, 1, and this is map on um, 0, 0, 1, and this is map on what I have, what we will be left with mm -hmm. one, zero, one, zero, one. So, uh, on which term this will be uh, map on? If you can say this one like um, what uh, we will have to be left with so so what i have left one zero and okay uh, so we we have if you can see This is uh, zero, one and zero. So if you can see, uh, uh, these are some unique elements, and uh, and uh, how we can write it down. Like uh, there are two way to write it down: zero one, then zero zero, zero one. One zero, then one one. So when input is zero and this is again zero zero, the output is tetra one. One one one. When row is zero and column is zero one, row is zero, column is zero one. The output is one zero zero. Similarly. Uh, Zero zero zero, then uh, one one zero, then one double zero double one, then uh, one zero one, then double zero one, then 
zero one zero. So ultimately, you can say uh, first row tell you the row, and the second two row will tell you the column. So this is one of the position you can write this as a uh, rectangular matrix, and from same input to same output, you can represent it with the help of rectangular uh, uh, table. Uh, sorry, square uh, square table. But here we have rectangular table. Uh, so if we can write it down, we can also write this above as a zero 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 one one zero one one and write it zero and one. So when uh, the two zero and then zero and two zero uh, tell you about row and the second third uh, uh, element will tell you about column so this the output is one so double zero one so it will be one double zero then in zero one and zero which is zero 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 then one one zero then uh, again one zero zero double one one zero one then another one zero zero one then zero one zero so in that way you can also write it like a vertical table and this is a horizontal table so these are some representation of uh, what you call the uh, binary boolean function so uh, question arises how we can uh, Say that how to uh, uh, say that whether this this type of function which is in the form of uh, uh, rectangular or the square table, how we can say this table is linear or non-linear. So let us take uh, two two input from this uh, this uh, what you call the input vector that is x is taking 0, 0 and then y is 0, 1. So if you can see the uh, the output for x 0, 0, the input is 0, 0, the output is 1, or then the y that is f of 0, 1, f of 0, 1, the output is 0, 0. So, and if you can add these two, like in case, in this case, if you can add these two, this is one point. The output will be uh, zero, uh, zero. So if you can apply the check f of x plus y is equal to f of x plus f of y. So we have to do is just to so the answer of this one is left left hand side is zero zero and the answer of right hand side is one one plus zero 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 so uh, we are adding uh, binary elements so zero is map on first element of part of it is map on first and second on the second you will get one so ultimately these are not equal 
So in that way, we can say to a this function, this one is we can say non-linear multi value boolean function. In a similar fashion, you can check g as a linear or non linear boolean function. I hope uh, you understand uh, today the topic that how to uh, check the linearity of single value boolean function and multi uh, multi value boolean function. Till then, Allah is May Allah bless you all. If you have any question, do post on my YouTube channel. I will definitely answer to a particular query related to a multi or a single or multi value function. Till then, Allah is May Allah bless you all.